catching the interest of your visitors is a tough endeavor, but nowhere as difficult as keeping them on board for the long term. My name is Robert and today I'll walk you through the most important and easy steps about how to set up the OneSignal free web push notifications plugin. Before we jump into the technical stuff, it's important that you back up your WordPress site. You should always do this before adding or removing any major features from your website, in case something goes wrong. In fact, you should be doing it regularly, even if you don't implement any significant changes. Check out our video on how to backup WordPress with several options. The first thing we need to do, of course, is install and activate the plugin as per usual. When that's done, a OneSignal push tab will appear in your WordPress dashboard. Click on it and you'll be redirected to a setup tab. Read to the overview and then click to the Chrome and Firefox push link. The plugin includes step-by-step -step text instructions for adding both services, but I invite you to keep watching this video, because I'll walk you through the most important steps. By the way, if you are new here, please subscribe. This way you'll be notified every time we publish a new video. I also encourage you to ask any question in the comment section below. Now I go forward with this one, so click to create a OneSignal account, fill up the fields with all the required informations, tick the box I agree, then click the red button right below. Confirm your email address and done. Your account is active now, so welcome to OneSignal. Next, click to add a new app. Name it as you wish, then click Create. Choose the Website Push app for now, click Next, then click to Chrome and Firefox. Next, paste your site URL and notification icon link, leave this field blank to use the default OneSignal icon, or create a custom one, upload it as media file and paste the link here. Then scroll down and set a custom subdomain for your app and click Save. Because we use this on our WordPress website, click WordPress, then Next. Here are both the secret app ID and API key. Copy and paste them to the specific fields discovered in your OneSignal plugin configuration tab. Still here, copy and paste the OneSignal custom subdomain, then hit the Save button. Now let's do our first notification signup test. Visit the website and click the notification icon right at the bottom of your screen. Click Allow in the pop-up window and Allow again. Done! Thanks for subscribing message confirm that you are subscribed now. Go back to your OneSignal account and check subscribed users. Just perfect, your first user has been subscribed successfully. Click Done to exit. Now head to the Safari push tab if you want to add those notifications as well. Safari notifications only work on the Mac operating system version, though, so keep that in mind. This plugin enables you to set up notifications manually by ticking a box next to the WordPress editor on your posts. If you'd rather automate this process, go to OneSignal push configuration in your WordPress dashboard. Now scroll down and locate the automatic notification settings section. Turn on the first option. Your subscribers will automatically receive notifications each time you publish a new post. You can also replace the default OneSignal logo on the notifications with your post featured image by heading up to the Set Notification Settings section. Enable the corresponding option and you are all set. Now it's time to configure an opt-in for our notifications. Our push notifications are ready to go, but we've still got one step to complete. Before users start receiving notifications, they need to agree or opt-in to the program, hence the term opt-in. Here's what OneSignal opt-in looks like on Chrome. To do this, let's return to OneSignal push configuration. 
Inside, locate the Prompt Settings and Notify button section. The setting we need to turn on is first on the list. Automatically prompt new site visitors to subscribe to push notifications. Do so and then feel free to play around with the rest of the settings next to it. The Notify button option, for example, enables a small notification button in the bottom right corner of your site, which enables users to check recent notifications. As long as you keep producing quality content, it stands to reason that users will be interested in checking it out. All you are doing is providing them with the occasional reminder to do so. Thanks for watching. Please check out our latest tutorials about WordPress plugins, themes and more. Please share them if you like what you see, hit the like button and ask any question in the comments section below. Help us inform you about new uploads by hitting the subscribe button right here.